Hello everybody, I have a couple of recent additions to the collection to talk about. One of these is from Kino Lobor, the RKO Classic Romance Collection, a five movie, two disc DVD collection. Uh, Pre-code films from the early 30s, I think they're all 31 and 30, yeah, all 30 and 31. Uh, RKO Romance Classics, RKO is a great studio, it was a great studio. Uh, tremendous, probably most well known for films like King Kong. Uh, and the 30s is when, for me, I think they really took off and just started churning out movies, tons of films, and some real all-time classics like King Kong that I mentioned, and a lot of ones that became cult favorites, especially within the horror genre, uh, a lot of just great comedy films, romance films, everything you can think of. The 30s, they really took off. 30s and 40s, and then kind of slowly fell into decline, but the 30s was fantastic time for RKO, and they made so many movies that in between all those things that became classics over time or became cult favorites over time, there were a lot of those just kind of fun filler movies. And a lot of those are ones that have been lost to time either completely or you can they're available on things like DVD, but it's usually very, very poor quality prints. Some of them are just like straight from a really poor quality VHS that was from a poor quality uh, print, so like multiple generations of crap, um, and just those are not the easiest things to get a hold of, and a lot of them, again, are just kind of fun movies and not, you know, the, the top of the line films, so they're not really worth ever investing the kind of premium in big restorations and like, you know, big classic collections, any kind of those um, premiere lines or whatever probably wouldn't touch those type of films. Uh, there's not, you know, the return investment and that kind of thing. So it's nice when you get collections of those kind of movies here, and they released two different lines of these, two different collections. One was RKO adventure films from the time period, and then the romance films from the same, you know, pre, right before, you know, the pre, end of the pre-code era in the early 30s. And I went with the romance collection, the one that, you know, I would prefer definitely over the adventure one and they both received a uh, DVD and uh, Blu-ray versions this is the DVD copy the two disc edition for these five movies and they are all just right up my alley they're not gonna be to everyone's taste but they're my, the, my kind of movies they're good romantic comedies some are a little more on the you know just the glorious melodrama I just love especially from this time period, the, when you get into the 20s um, and sort of the end of the sound era and the beginning of the sound era, I love a lot of the romantic melodramas and the romantic comedies and those kind of things, just fantastic. So this was a fantastic collection. I had a lot of fun with this. This is one to definitely revisit. You have Millie, Kept Husbands, The Lady Refuses, The Woman Between, and Sin Takes a Holiday. And uh, they all have you know different variations on, are they a little more on the drama melodrama portion or a little more on the comedy portion so it's a good mix and just a great set and definitely if you you find this type of time period interesting in these kind of movies some of these might not be ones that you've seen before and it's a great little collection to pick up and not very expensive and also from uh, Kino Lobor this is a blu-ray release uh, this uh, bad girl is actually an Academy Award winner I think for best director I wonder where it says in the back best director best director and best writing and adaptation because originally based on a um on a novel uh so and it was, it was nominated for best picture as well so i mean it, it's a good movie it's a great again early 30s uh, pre-code romantic melodrama it is about a uh, very poor down their luck couple a very young couple during the great depression who get married once she becomes pregnant and um, all the drama that ensues after that within their marriage and just uh, the time frame in general and I really enjoy movies like this because they are not just great films and uh, you know interesting to watch and a lot of fun but they're also a great window into another time period and a period of time that I find fascinating so I really love stuff like this so this is you know, another Kino Lobor and the last thing a man and I watched this over the weekend we cooked some some burgers got some stuff ready and had an enjoyable afternoon watching this documentary behind the burly Q, uh, which was uh, initially a, a book that came out and then the, a full documentary with a bunch of different uh, extra features so a uh, very you know fleshed out documentary a visual representation of that book uh, by Leslie Zemeckis and it's fantastic because burlesque is fascinating and it's something that I feel has kind of 
I mean, obviously burlesque has pretty much disappeared. There's very little of even you know semblance of that around in society. But I think the very idea and concept of what it was has kind of disappeared um, from you know public consciousness. I, th I think that people just think it's only just a bunch of strippers or, or like they have this idea of oh it's just fancy stripping uh but burlesque uh, especially during its prime was so much more than that you have you know Abbott and costello got their start in in burlesque because burlesque was comedians it was variety acts it was you know the the, the stripping elements the strip tease elements which are very different than just a raunchy stripper is more of a and there wasn't always nudity. Even a lot of times there there was nudity, but not always. Um, it was more uh, it was more of a presentation, more of a show, more fun. And again, you had all those different variety acts. And uh, uh, there was a period of time where it was considered more of like a family outing type thing, and then you know, a little more risque. And it's just a very fascinating thing. And uh, this is great because there were still a few legendary entertainers still left alive when this was filmed to have some interviews from the very early 2000s um, and that was really fascinating to see and then on top of that you also had some people that experienced say kids of people that were in burlesque or they grew up around burlesque uh, like Alan Alda, Hawkeye from MASH, um, his father uh, worked in, in burlesque and he grew up around that environment so he's inter interviewed a lot and it's just a great fun look it's very it's light, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's informative, it's just a good combination of all those things you want from uh, a documentary like this. It's the kind of thing where it's, it's it, this is a great starting point too if you just don't know anything about burlesque and you really just thought it's just fancy stripping, right? Um, and it's interesting just to see how it evolved and collapsed and like what you precipitated those changes over time and uh, getting to hear a lot of the backstories of a lot of the more famous you know, entertainers from that time period. So this was a really cool, fun pickup. So this was a great documentary, one we'll definitely check out again. Um, and you know, one that has a couple of special features, some I looked at, some I didn't look at yet. Uh, there's a reunion and behind the scenes and a burlesque timeline, which is cool. Some extra bonus interviews that were done. Uh, but right before this DVD came out, so this is really cool, a lot of fun. I love things like this, and I wish a, more of those were uh, done and easy to find and easy to own physically, because there are a lot of documentaries of this type that uh, just kind of air on TV or something and disappear, or maybe they're just uh, like a print-on-demand DVD if you're lucky kind of thing. So I was very happy to find that. So this was a great um, delve into 30s, 40s, 50s, early 60s, Americana and just a lot of fun. Uh, these were fantastic to watch and ones I'm happy to have in my collection.